Hi, my name is Matt Wyman. I'm the Chief Product and Growth Officer at Sauce Labs. Uh, today, we announced the acquisition of Backtrace. And so I'm very excited to have Abel Matthew, CEO of Backtrace here, joining me uh, for a brief conversation about uh, how we're moving forward and all the exciting opportunities that we're going to bring together. Abel, welcome. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Thanks for welcoming me. It's, it's a pleasure. Uh, and really excited about uh, what we're doing uh, together. Maybe you can start off with a, a description of Backtrace and some of the amazing improvements and help that you bring to developers. I'd be happy to talk about Backtrace. Been doing it for so long and so so often. When I think about how software is developed and in the modern era of development, teams are increasingly seeking to push smaller and smaller increments of change into production and doing so faster and faster. At worst, this leads to inadequate testing. You know, at best, it increases risk due to overall system complexity. And we see this time and time again, especially as you move and you push more and more changes to production, that complexity often is uh, misunderstood, not even known about, right? Because you're just pushing changes so quickly. Ultimately though, the people that are affected by this complexity and this risk are the users, you know, the users of the applications. And so to maintain a quality experience in production, developers need new methodologies to help them debug and fix errors wherever they are caught as quickly as possible. That's exactly what Backtrace does. We help developers respond to, debug, and resolve the issues discovered in production. So, I mean, it's really amazing. There, there are a number of different tools um, that are used uh, by people to understand what's happening in production and to link those back to fixes. Um, but you've really focused in on a particular industry, um, a really difficult industry, in fact, um, to apply that kind of thinking. Can you talk a little bit about some of the fit that you found and, and why that's been so important to Backtrace's uh, success? Absolutely. It's an interesting journey because in many ways, that industry, gaming, found us as opposed to us looking for it. And that's because when we started Backtrace, you know, Sami and I are developers through and through. And in our previous organization, we were some of the few people that would get tasked with debugging issues whenever they would happen. A fire would happen in production uh, and they would say, hey, Sammy, hey, Abel, go figure out what the issue is and fix it. That led to not only a lot of stress for both of us, but also this really deep desire to build a system that had as much depth of information as possible. We just really hated having to reproduce the issue just so we can get another piece of data as to what was happening. You know, it really led to this idea of how do you increase the feedback loops, which ultimately lead to your ability to resolve as quickly as possible. Mean time to resolution, right? Really, really big metric that we'd always center ourselves around. What was really awesome about the system that we built when focusing on higher fidelity of information introducing greater feedback loops, introducing it into the places and the tools that you work was that it is just a natural fit for gaming. And that's because gaming is really complicated. It's really complex pieces of software. The stakes are just so high because games have huge earning potential, but the window of opportunity is just so small. It's, so, it's such a competitive industry. Even I am a gamer actually, and I will tell you firsthand if a game crashes on me, or if I see a number of errors, I probably give it two chances at most. The second time it crashes on me, I quit. And I'm sure that sounds familiar, especially when you talk about mobile apps and web apps. Can you give us an example of where you have customers that are not only doing gaming, but also reaching back into other stages of their uh, software development and maybe even in other areas, um, utilizing your tools in web and mobile? and in other environments? Sure, I'd love to. And it's, it's a really easy question to answer because once you integrate the SDK, it's there and it does its job. Regardless of the necessarily the, the platform or the environment in which errors happen, it's collecting the data for you. And in fact, what's really awesome about this is context is king. That data that you get about the actual context, it will benefit you across all of these stages. A benefit that uh, Backtrace users see is because in pre-production environments, you actually have a proliferation of different, um, what I would say, attributes that, are, that describe the environment. 
different hardware platforms, different versions, all the variety of these attributes now can be correlated with potential cause when you tie it back to things like code, or in fact, it might be the environment itself that's causing the issue. Quite often with acquisitions, people wonder what's going to happen. How do you move forward? Our expectation is that we are building a collaboration platform, a DevOps test tool chain that helps people across the entire life cycle. We're really excited because in this moment, we're now able to move to shifting right. We're able to move right, getting into a more runtime environments, not just pre-production environments with unit and functional and visual testing and API testing, but now all the way through into what people actually do, behavior-based validation and testing. Abel, thank you so much for joining. I'm really excited to work with you uh, and work with Backtrace. Likewise, I appreciate it. It's been a wonderful journey thus far. And I'll venture to say here, um, especially to you know, all the Backtrace users out there as well, the really awesome thing about this pairing is that the better our system is, the better this holistic system that Matt is talking about is. We will continue to improve our system, continue to deliver on what we've been able to do thus far to be able to give you the best in-market error reporting platform out there. Because honestly, it makes the more holistic platform that much better. And that's what we're super Here excited you. about. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Matt.